Hello guys, it's Elkskins. Uh, so I got the parts machine in here. Many of you guys don't fully understand. The harness that's on the 96 Hydro that I've been using is off the 93. So it does not have the safety switch for when you, if you don't have the parking brake on and you get off the switch it kills the engine it don't have that it just has a two wire safety switch off the uh the clutch pedal so this tractor here has the four wire one the original harness on that 96 did have that uh but like i said that other harness it has another can of worms but uh you know, I might just go and grab it and uh, look at it too, which I might just run out there and grab it. But uh, anyway, those footrests I've had sitting around, those are going to go on the hydro also. They're going red, and the uh, footrest uh, skid things, they are removable, and we can put them back on after the paint, no biggie. Um, and another thing is, to upgrade the dash and the hood, you got to change out the harness. Because it takes a different ignition switch with different pins. The, um, PTO is different. It's a pull button instead of a switch. And, you know, a lot of you are not thinking fully because I've done a lot of this stuff before. I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> um, headlight wiring is going to have to come out and it's going to have to be changed out. Uh, and uh, we'll have to go from there. I'm going to take some of these decals off in a bit and I'm going to show you how. And we will see whether or not that will fit the twin when the, the dash is installed. We'll figure that out. And we'll go from there. I'll probably use this battery box. And this uh, dash support also will come over there to the other tractor. Because it's in better shape. Now the gear drive I'm getting for parts, this is spotless. So, yeah. So, the guy I got this tractor from, he took and uh, pulled the, um, what do you call it? Pulled the um, engine off because he was going to put it on another tractor. Well, I uh, kind of messed up his plans there. Because he didn't understand that the crankshaft was different. And I told him that. And he says, well, crap. The guy wants me to go work for him and this and that. And I'm like, you know, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I mean... You know, I'm just happy with what I'm doing, and uh, we'll just say that. Besides that, if I went over there, where would I have my free time to do anything? So, let me get you set up, let me get you guys charging, and we'll go at this. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, we're going to use parts of this harness because I was going to save this for my buddy but it's too far gone and uh, it's different it's got the older plug on it like I was saying and I'm not unpinning it and trying to figure out the pins so we'll use that one and we will just use a combination of both uh, harnesses to make it work alright You'll see what happens when I get done. 
Now I gotta pick up my welding helmet. I don't know why it's on the floor. So, it shouldn't be. It should be hanging up somewhere there. All right. Let me get, get you guys set up finally. Flash went outside. Okay guys, we're taking the heat gun and peeling off the decals. And there's a reason for it. It's part of what I'm wanting to do. The hood is going to get repainted in springtime. I don't have a very good low setting on this, so it's kind of hard to get these to peel right. They want to melt. Alright, there's one. And now here comes the one below. Like I said, you gotta be gentle on the heat. Now my plan is to do some custom uh, sticker designs later. I will put a Craftsman sticker to replace these. I'll find them on the internet somewhere. I'm going to check on uh, Click It and Stick It. See if they have them. But I just want to get these replacements. Then I'm going to do something fancy down below. So let me get off the other side. Then we'll pull the hood off. Put it outside, and we will go from there. I'm going to do the other side off camera. Alright guys, I got the hood done. Now let's start this uh, mantling. Okay, that's black, that's red and blue. So, I was looking at this. I don't have to touch the this watt harness for the uh, hour meter. It's got it built in. This one, you just pull this off, put this power wire to the amp meter, this to the negative. And it's marked. So that's helpful. And sorry guys. And I'll show you guys better uh, uh, as we go. Get this off. And where's my tools? You know what? I'm going to fix that issue. Problem solved. And I might end up having a problem like I did the one day and have a bunch of stuff all over the place. But that's alright. We'll get it taken care of. these steering wheels here so I may uh, do a trick to see if this will well I don't know if that will even work but I'll figure out some way of getting this and 
And this center is supposed to come out of that steering wheel also. So I'll have to figure that out. So. Because my, uh, uh, this is the same steering wheel I have on the 93, the one that I mow with. I threw one of these steering wheels on it because I like it better. Okay, so that side over there is missing a bolt. No biggie. amp meter that's broke I've got a replacement in the other dash now I'll have to see how to get the hour meter out because I've never messed with one that had an hour meter Okay, now on these, let me make sure you're looking and see what I'm looking at. This cover here, if you, can, you have to be careful, they poke out a little bit. So, may have to get a flat head or a thin knife to get it out, but don't cut it. You don't want to cut it. You just want to be able to grab it with something. You take it and once you get it, you just peel it out. And work it as you're going. And there you have it. There's the protector. And then there is two screws that hold that hour meter in. So that's that. I'll put this off to the side. Sorry guys, I just hit you. I seem to do that to you guys a lot. Is that a uh, viewer abuse or what? I'm just making stuff up. I was not able to find my uh one things last night. So that's all right. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so. All this comes out. Like so. And we got this crap. And then. Oh, that's just lovely. want to take your uh, wire out of the clips in the back. I don't have to show you how to do that. It's pretty obvious. And uh, you will have to do one thing. Just remove this bolt in the center. Let me maneuver you guys a little bit. So 
you can see. Oh, there you guys go. How's the ceiling, guys? Okay, I gotta get the half inch and take these springs off to give me a little bit better room. They have to come off anyway. You know, technically this is called, um, cobbling when you do multiple models in one it's called cobbling but you know what I call it I call it making things work and teaching others how to do it okay so that connectors broke so let's do it this way there's a seat safety now this seat safety is black it's supposed to be green I looked it up today at Terrell's. This is the correct switch. I am ordering a new one. Colors on the uh, safety switches do matter. Gray is opposite than black. wire tie down here this thing's missing the uh, cover and the harness is out so guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling this apart I'm not gonna show you guys how to pull everything apart cuz you've seen it before so, you know, repeat stuff kind of gets boring and old. So, I'll talk to you guys when I get it done. And have the other one back in here. Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, now, I went ahead and started tearing this down and I discovered one difference between the two. And I'm going to have to modify the... Uh, exhaust uh, baffle to go around it I had to change the hood brackets because these brackets here are off the other frame that's the difference between the two so I had to change that and I have to modify the ba baffle to fit around that and it should fit, uh, close then and uh, basically, I just wanted to get make sure the hood would close. That uh, piece inside is staying, that plastic piece, and it will be sucking air along the side. Now, since you've seen me tear this thing apart several times, I'm going to tear it all down to where I need it to be. Then I'll bring you guys back when we go to hook up the other harness. Uh... My goal is to get that done, and we'll uh, try to get it out of here tonight for a little bit so I can take care of the fenders that are sitting outside. The baffle I'm not worried about. That can come tomorrow or whenever. 
I just want to get the main parts done tonight and then I'll post them. I'm running low on video memory right now on the camera because I forgot to clear it out so I can clear some out if I want to add to. So let me uh, get this thing tore apart and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, this might be confusing because I got two wiring harnesses right here. I'm still in the process of taking them apart, or taking it apart, but I want to show you something. Okay, this is the safety switch off of this tractor originally. I have to reuse this bracket and switch. So, this is the harness that I'm using and this is a engine harness I had sitting around. This is the kill wire. This is the charge wire. And this is a Briggs harness plugged into a Kohler wiring harness for the tractor. So, kill wire is black. And that goes to black. This gray wire is the, um, is not going to be used because it's a, um, anti-backfire solenoid wire. Or as some people like Redneck Computer Geeks calls it, the California Emissions. So, I have this, because this wiring harness is going to snap in over on the right hand side. And these wires have to run across behind the back side of the engine. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up like it was on the tractor. So, this is the charge wire. This, it's we're using the extension from an NTD. Uh, like I said, this is the kill wire. Now you see how this gray wire, which I'm just going to chop off back here, because I don't need it, it's looped around. It's from the charging circuit looped around. Now these two wires that your electric clutch, I have to put those wires in. Which I'll be using from the other har one of the other harnesses. Alright. These red wires, those are your amp meters, and I'll be telling you more about that in a bit. Uh, what I wanted to show you, okay, you see this wire harness has grounds here, hmm, that would be headlight wiring, and that is messed up but I can fix it no no worries I'll patch that together um but what I was saying and that's the connector I need for the uh, hood over there but what I was saying is these have to be grounded now some tra of these GTs they use the same harness so we're using a three post solenoid so this has to be trimmed off or I can just take and make, get one of these uh, ones out of my uh, stash and go over that one and to ground because they have to be grounded. This is the starter solenoid signal wire. Now, if you have one of these GTs and it's getting an engine swap and it's got like a Kohler on it, or you're putting a Kohler on it with a different uh, starting system. I discovered this last year when doing a uh, tractor I was selling. Because uh, it had a... No. It had a Briggs in it, and I put a Kohler in it. So, the Briggs, or the Kohler I put in it, had a solenoid on the side of the starter. That's what it was. So this wire here, it's not connected to anything. You take the signal wire and plug it in here. That will send that signal down to the plug here. You see that white wire? That's the signal wire which is connected to this hole here, which is not populated. And that white hole, where that wire would come out, would go to your solenoid on your starter. 
So I just wanted to show you guys that um, I can uh, go through these things all day long and just figure this stuff out. And uh, that's why I was basically set telling you guys I'm not worried about doing this kind of stuff. I I like doing this stuff. It's a challenge to me. It's a challenge to see what all I can do because uh, I'm known for piecing stuff together and making it work in the, at the end of the day. So there's a little bit of information for you guys. But hope that made sense. It, if not, it will make sense further in the video after I tear this thing apart and start assembling it. All right. Okay guys, I got it tore down. All right. Now, I snipped the wires going to the back. I'm going to just splice them into this harness. I'm gonna cut those green wires that go to the back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the safety switch in the back of the seat. Cause I'm not pulling these fenders tonight. So, it'll be fine. It won't get water. This thing sits inside mostly anyway. Uh, because of the transmission, you got to warm these things up if they sit outside, and that takes quite a while. So, we're going to get our... Well, move our Walmart receipt. We're going to get our dash tower. This one is a little bit different from the 96 dash tower. Okay, I'm going to take something off really quick. I just noticed I have to do that. Alright, where did I put that impact? I just had to. Okay. I found it. It was behind me sitting on the floor. Okay, those are self-tappers. I gotta get the backside slid in first, and I can't slide it in because of the steering chair. So, you know, you gotta look at the situations over when you're doing some of this stuff, and you have to plan ahead. Get your parking brake rod, put that in place. You gotta slide it in, and now you gotta get your. Well, you gotta, this is the tricky part, putting it into the uh, uh, handle. Let me take this plate off back here. You guys can't see it, but uh, we'll see if I can get it to maneuver around better with the plate off. I wish that tractor had that plate on it. I might see if it's sitting around out there next time I go out. Because this one's kind of beat up. Okay, I can't get it out because it's probably... No, it comes out. Okay. Alright. So it's loose. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm going to probably end up having to take that handle off to do this. They slide out easy. They just don't want to slide back in. Well, it doesn't help when I have the uh, plow on it, too. Do I have anything I can lift up on that? I'm looking around. Guys, see if I have something I can set the plow on. Something that 
won't crush. You know what, I got this old starter generator that's sitting here that I probably will never use, so it will be sacrificed as a folder for right now. Let me uh, take that off. Like I said, guys, you know, stuff happens and, you know, this is a learning curve for me right now because I know it, in reality this should work. There, it's off. Now, on later years, they had a different uh, handle also. Alright. Put that there. got this stuff from the 93. Including the stuff. Now this is a cap that goes over that and you, you can these are tough to get off at times the way to do it is get a razor blade or something and get behind it and then peel it up a little bit and then get a thin flat head and pop it off. I would set that dash out that side but I can't right now because uh, I need it. <laughs> For, uh, I didn't take the uh, choke shaft, uh, or not choke shaft, but the choke bracket off yet, off the cable. one loose on the dr pat dr basically left hand side so I can um, mess with this stuff in a bit I've got to put the uh, um, what you call it back on you know what I have to take that well, maybe I don't. I'll see if I can manage. Alright, I gotta put the spring back on. Remember that hard spring that I had issues with the last time I had the, the, it all apart? Put 
there. And I'm sorry guys, you can't see it. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this battery box out. And something else I'm going to have to take out is this arm like I did the last time. Okay, good. The clip went flying, but I can find that. Basically, the reason why I've picked this off is I need the leverage. I remember how I did this now. Push the brake down. Get the belt off. Like so. Do that. So you get more. Okay, it's on. And now, put the parking brake on and put the belt back on. Uh, I gotta get that back keeper started. Alright. Now, what else was it? Oh yeah, this uh, death thing. I gotta get that started. Like so. The adjuster for low lowering or raising. And then we can put this back in. Help if I put it in the right hole, people. For some reason I smell gas, but I don't see anything. But then again, we are messing around with everything. Where did I put those other... Right there. Now, some of you guys are probably thinking that I'm crazy. Well, you know what? I am. Sorry to tell you that, but I am insane. <laughs> Why would I put all this work into a GT that isn't worth much? Yeah, I'm insane. That's all there is to it. I'm just crazy. That can go back on. This can go on. Tighten it up. Oh wait, these are not even the right bolts. 
these are the bolts. Why'd you guys let me do that? plate back down plate back on. I had to bend on it a little bit on angling where I was putting the uh, bolts. It'll be all right. I gotta tighten the other two. Make sure they're tight. I'm told the shafts are the same. We'll see. If not, that is going to open up another can of worms, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and we'll find out here in a minute. So. I'm going to set up the dash off camera and then I'll bring you guys back. 